Hey filmmakers, Shongli here. So I am a professional fox puller or a first AC and I have used the small rig magic fist on several projects right now and I have used it with like professional cinema lenses like the Zeiss CP3, the DZO film Angus EZ, uh, Sigma Cine but also with affordable Samyang lenses and this was able to focus quite well with those lenses. The focus, focus motor is strong enough to move those lenses and also uh, yeah do it jobs well when it's powered correctly talking about power we have to really talk about this remote because just this top section on on its own it has a built-in battery that lasts 20 hours however adding this part to the grip adds another a lot of hours and uh, inside of the grip you do need to add like an extra battery which is the Canon LPE6 this goes in there so you add the LPE6 and like the battery will last like several days. The first thing you might have noticed on this remote is this ring here. This is not standard ring. I've actually 3D printed a ring. The thing is like uh, on the professional foil focus, it should have like a more cylindrical ring like what you see on my remote. So this is a more flat cylindrical ring where I have placed a uh, marking tape on top of it and then mark down the distances of like the lens and that really helps me with focusing while well, the standard ring has a slanted ring and also the knob is not that great to put like a marking tape on here because either way it will not be like a smooth personally for me like using the yeah this ring it is really a must However, this is also a cover. So the under here, there's actually a smaller knob. And uh, yeah, small rig can actually come out with their own uh, knob with a more professional ring. And I hopefully hope they would do that in the future. That would especially make this an even more professional uh, focus remote if it has the more proper kind of ring. But for now, for myself, uh, instead of waiting for them to release that kind of ring, I just 3D printed my own to just improve this system while I'm working with it. What I don't really like about the remote is actually the marking system. So the mark system is an AB mark. AB mark means uh, you can actually from one point to the other point, but you can't go beyond the AB mark. But uh, yeah, that is kind of annoying for me because like uh, on set, people don't move the same camera can, can also move a little bit uh, too far or too close or too other, too different. And I need to focus sometimes beyond those mark. And right now uh, to mark down the marks, I have to tape the marks on here just to show like where I need to focus. What I would rather prefer for the marking system to do is to do a vibrate mark. So I can set down a mark and then when I actually change the focus wheel and uh, hit the same mark again, that the remote would vibrate and that would uh, enables me to also having to look at the remote less and look, uh, keep my eye on the screen more and feel when I'm hitting like the focus marks and it makes working much easier because this system is also available at more high end follow focuses. And it would be great if, uh, yeah, small rig would include that system on here also. There is a vibrate motor in here because there is a function where the vibrate happen so if the focus motor get blocked the remote will vibrate i rather actually uh yeah just have the vibrate function for the focus marks instead of having the vibrate for that block function because uh, a warning signal on the screen already uh, gives me like enough information because if i feel when i'm moving the focus and it's not moving and i see the that there is a warning for it on the screen i already know that uh, the motor is blocked the other things that uh it can improve on is definitely that arrow. Um, I, even though I have my LED on and if I use this system at night, I can see through the light going through my uh, marker ring and I can see like the markings on my marker ring. However, the 
arrow on the body is not really that visible at night. Maybe I need to paint it myself with uh, glow in the dark or get something on here or uh, shine a light myself onto the remote to see it at night. There is a record button on the remote. Um, this is also the uh, yeah, turn on and off button, but mainly the record button only works with like mirrorless cameras, which isn't really that great because personally, I rather have the record button also work with cinema cameras, which you often will be using a remote follow focus for instead of like, uh, yeah, your mirrorless cameras. I rather wish they would come out with cables for like the RE, Blackmagic and Canon cinema cameras to have like this record button to work with those. That would be a great improvement on here also. Uh, what is a bit kind of false advertising is the Fizz name. So it's called Magic Fizz. However, instead of being Focus Iris and Zoom, it's kind of Focus iris or zoom because you can only control two motors so here on the front there's the dial and here of course the focus knob and those are the two things uh, you can control with so if you have a third motor you need to have an additional uh, remote however in reality on film sets i rarely need to set up for all three functions 99 percent of the time i'm just using prime lenses and only having to focus and like just a few projects that you ever will be using with zoom lenses that you have to zoom in and then like very little projects you also need to wreck the iris. Another thing that is not as advertised I feel like is the connection distance. It says 100 meters however my own experience was like maximum of 35 meters and we had like a line of sight so we should have like the good connection but uh, we're middle of the city, uh, I'm, the camera's on the bridge, I'm standing on the other side of the water. Uh, we had like nothing in between us and like 35 meters was the maximum that we were able to get. Extreme situation, we also tried with a chase car. So I was sitting inside of the chase car and in the other car is being filmed and there was no space for me to sit in. So we tried that and yeah, the signals were really, really bad. Even like the cars riding really close by. So for that, I had to get into the trunk of the car and focus from there and uh, yeah, and able to work that way. But overall, most of the situations, normal filming situations, you won't really have like connections issue. Just uh, be note, uh, chase car options don't really work and um yeah just don't work stand further than 35 meters overall why i would still use it is that i can actually trust that this will work and we already had replaced like a different brand follow focus on sets that had like more of issue errors or bugs and though or couldn't connect while well, this was able to connect with both motors like instantly um, and yeah just do its job hopefully small rig listens to me about the certain upgrades that they can make to this remote and uh, improve it even more and make it an even more professional system so even more professional focus puller would see into like using this system or having this as a backup system where it is usable on film set but for me definitely this lives in my first ac bag as a backup but also even out low budget uh, shoots that i can just use this uh, instead of having them rent really bad low budget uh, remotes from other brands and yeah that was mainly it if you have any questions comment it in the comment section here below if you uh yeah haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and thank you all for watching bye bye